Howdy y'all, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at the first photographs ever taken in Korea, dated from the years 1879 through 1930. Throughout the late 19th century, due to Korea's Joseon dynasty, contact with outsiders was forbidden. Due to this policy, photography reached and expanded throughout Korea rather slowly. The first documented photographs of Korea and its people were taken outside of the major cities, and this occurred in the 1870s, produced by photographer Felix Beitel. We will view a handful of those surviving images today. However, we will also dive into multiple photographs taken by Korean-born photographers, including Kim Yong-won, who was the first professional photographer in Korea, opening his studio in the year 1883. We will also browse photographs from a handful of other early Korean photographers, including Ji Yeon Young and Hwang Chao. However, even with multiple studios open throughout Korea in the late 1800s, we're told in this narrative it wasn't until Japan colonized Korea in 1910 that photography became a widespread practice. The Korean Photographers Association was established in the year 1926, and by 1930, the last year of these photographs we will be looking at today, we are told over 70 amateur photography clubs or fraternities existed in Korea, which included over 1,000 registered members. The Japanese government was said to have restricted Korean photographers' activities throughout the Second World War. However, by the 1960s following the Korean War, photojournalism and photography began to emerge at the forefront. After the 1970s, photography became very popular in South Korea, where it remains popular today. For today's video, we will travel back in time to the Joseon Dynasty of the late 1800s and the following Korean Empire. We will view the massive fortified walls of Seoul, the capital of South Korea. We will have an abundance of images in this video today dedicated to Seoul, which will be the main focus. However, we will also have a few other significant photographs of major cities throughout both North and South Korea that were photographed for the first time. Many of these photographs will be labeled and furthermore, we have some very detailed images that are produced here, showing a dichotomy between the old world of the West that we are familiar with and the old world of the East that is pictured here. As we look through these photographs, we will find that almost every photograph is depicting a very abundant city with an abundant class of people. None of these cities appear to be empty. You can credit that to the photography of the time, seeing as it was more towards the late 1800s, but we don't have empty streets here like we see in other major cities of the West. And again, when we look at the architecture of the ancient parts of Korea, we see a similarity in these fortifications that are very similar to locations found all across the earth. These are some of the most amazing and breathtaking photographs I have ever seen of the Far East. And this is the first time I found a true old world collection of images of Korea. So I thought that would be absolutely awesome to share with you guys today. Please enjoy this video, like, share, and subscribe if you are not already. And I would love to hear your thoughts and your comments down below.